How's it going everyone? It's AFC Fitness here and today we are at the Hawthorns to see West Brom versus Arsenal in the second round of the League Cup. It's going to be an interesting game. I've been to the Hawthorns once before. Me and Tom Aldo, we went to a game last season. They won 2-1 against Sheffield Wednesday. It's a nice stadium to be fair. We just thought we might as well try and go to a game in this round of the League Cup. And this is quite easy for us to get to. But yeah, it's a nice stadium and first time I'll have ever seen Arsenal play. We feel like there might be an upset on the cards. It might be wrong, but it'll be an interesting game, wherever the case. And there has to be a winner. So we're either going to see a goal or a penalty shootout. So it'll be, hopefully be a fun evening. Looking forward to this game, actually. I think it's going to be a really interesting one because despite West Brom being in a league below Arsenal, Arsenal have actually started the season really poorly, whereas West Brom have actually started it quite promisingly. So I think it's going to be a very close game. And I think West Brom have actually got a really good chance of winning it. So West Bromwich Albion were founded in 1878. They have won one first division title, three second division titles, one League Cup and five FA Cups. Their manager is a man called Valerian Ishmael. A bit of trivia, they were the first ever club to have Albion as part of their name. So let's have a look inside the Hawthorns. Okay, so they just announced the lineups of both teams, and I take back what we said. Arsenal have announced a very strong team. They've got Obama Yang, Saka, uh, Pepe. Yeah, Ramsdale. Pretty much their first team. Yeah, it's, it's quite a full strength team, like, and, and they've and got, then you've got loads of like the West Brom youth team. Yeah, West Brom haven't part of very strong side, so this maybe might just end up being a walkover for Arsenal. But you never know. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. But now that we said initially we thought West Brom could sink this, I'm not sure now. Yeah. But again, it, it'll be a fun evening. We're seeing a lot of fun players on display. I'm excited to see Saka and Aubameyang. Yeah, Sky Sports are here as well. Yeah. And Arsenal Fan TV, you never know. Maybe I'll get to meet Ty and Robbie. There's tonight's cuisine. That was Bombay something pie. Might be a bit spicy for me, but it's the only vegetarian option. In, it's 1 0 to Arsenal. West Brom nearly got the ball away, but Saka managed to do really well and steal the ball back. He's had a shot, the West Brom goalkeeper saved it, it's come back out, Aubameyang's put in. But I wouldn't say it's entirely fair fetch. I think Arsenal did start better, but West Brom started to create more chances, so this is a bit against the run of play. But I wouldn't say like, this is the end for West Brom at all. I think they, they've still been producing some really good play, pressing Arsenal really high, so hopefully they can get a goal back. But not entirely a fair reflection of the game necessarily, but 1-0 Arsenal. Right, so 44th minute, Arsenal just scored again. Pepe ran through on goal. It looked like he was going to score, but the shot came off the post. And then on the rebound, it was all Bamiyang again. Honestly, the two goals are the only thing he's really done all game, but that's a clinical striker, I suppose. That's really going to knock the wind out of the sails for West Brom. Oh, no, I just put my camera away. Um, it's come out of Palmer and Pepe's put in. It's 3-0 to Arsenal now. I think it's safe to say that's a game settled. That's a massive shame, because but they put up the board and it was five out of minutes. And Arsenal just sees the opportunity, but I think before half time, that's game over. Okay, so at half time, it is 3-0 to Arsenal. I wouldn't really say it's a fair effect of result. I think 1-0 to Arsenal would have been fair. But I think for a young West Brom side, they pressed them, they hounded them really well. I think it's really sad that just those two lucky goals for Arsenal came just for our time, so it's really not a fair reflection of the performance West Brom have had. But at the end of the day, Arsenal have been clinical, and playing football, you have to be clinical. They've taken their chances, West Brom haven't. 
and at the end of the day, that's why they're winning. But I still think West Brom can emerge in this with their heads held high. Again, I don't really see any other outcome now. I don't think we're going to see a dramatic comeback because I think West Brom's heads clearly went down. If they didn't concede a second then, it would still be 1-0 at half-time. They wouldn't have conceded another one. They were able to just hold their own before that. But then the floodgates open, it's just a massive shame. In terms of performances, I think Palmer in goal for West Brom has really impressed me. I think he's made quite a few good saves. For Arsenal, I think Odegaard has been really good because obviously some people are saying he's like still failed one to kid, but he's still young, he's still got a lot of potential, and I've been impressed with him today. Saka as well. Aubameyang hasn't really done much other than the two goals and that's the sign of a good striker, I guess. All you need is that opportunity. It's a good game. It's nice to see some goals, but I just hope West Brom can like, get something out of this because it wouldn't be fair on them to the, come out of this 3-0 or even more because they have performed well and they deserve credit. But yeah, half-time, 3-0 to Arsenal. I don't see the outcome changing. <laughs> So, only four minutes into the second half, Bakaya Saka's just scored to make it 4-0. 4-0 to Arsenal, so any chance of a comeback now, to be fair, is dead in the water. But on the positive side, that's great for Saka after what happened in the Euros for him to get, I think that's his first goal after that. So hopefully they'll do one just as confidence. But, yeah, 4-0, there's definitely no way back for West Brom now. 62 minutes in, that's 5-0 to Arsenal. Here, Emmerich Aubameyang has got a hat-trick. Again, he's been clinical. As far as I can remember, he's only had those three chances. But it's sad. You just feel sorry for West Brom now. You just won them to go for four time. 5-0 to Arsenal, Aubameyang hat-trick. Right. Six. Lacazette has just come on and he's netted a goal. I don't get it. They're 5-0 up and they brought on Lacazette for Xhaka and it's like, you're 5-0 up. Why do you need to bring a strike on? That's just cruel. 6-0. It's just a really sorry sight to see this game. Okay, so full time has for 6 0 to Arsenal. It's a shame about the result in the end because, again, like at the start of the game, the young West Brom players did put a lot in. I thought they challenged them really well. The sad that one goal, it just knocked the wind out of their sails and it opened the floodgates. And at the end of the day, you would expect Arsenal to win a game like this. I wouldn't like look into this result too seriously because it is just a second round League Cup game where West Brom put the kids out. But we've seen six goals and it's a shame for West Brom. But credit to their supporters. The vast majority stayed really positive and stay until the end of the game, even though they were 6-0 down. I think they deserve a lot of credit for that. It's a nice stadium and like the match experience. It's just a shame about the result for West Brom in the end, but I still enjoyed myself. On the way home now, we had good fun there. That was a fun game to watch. It was a shame about how it ended for West Brom, like I said. Again, like credit to the kids. I hope they all have like long and successful careers. And even though they lost 6-0 tonight, it would have been a big day for a lot of them. I think I was quite impressed by one called um, Fowl, his name F A L L. It was a striker that came on about 60 minutes for West Brom and he just showed a, a couple of little bits of skill and maybe like if he just like grows and develops he could go on to do something. There's a lot of young players there and like even though they lost 6 0 I think they can still be proud that they had this opportunity. Uh, but yeah but the Hawthorns a very nice stadium to go to. That's the second time I've been to a game there and I've really enjoyed it both times. That's good fun. It's great again to be going back into grounds and stuff. Like that's three matches we've been to over the course of a week after 18 months out of stadiums pretty much. That was the Hawthorns. Don't know where the next match will be, but I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. Thank you for watching and stick with us as we go round to ground. AFC Finners out.